Hello world, my name is Strawberric. Hi, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing day today. And if you're not, that's okay. We all have shit days, but it's okay. Just take some time to do what makes you happy and what makes you feel calm and safe. So I wanna talk about using 3D models to improve your art. And I know this topic is super controversial because I know everybody has an opinion about it. But to hell with everyone's opinions, right? <laughs> so let me get started. In the background, you will see me using a 3D model to draw one of my most recent illustrations. And I wanna talk about this and a little bit about my process. I decided to start using the 3D models on Clip Studio Paint to help guide me. I get overwhelmed very easily and when this happens, it shuts down my brain and then I can't seem to wrap my brain around an illustration. It takes me forever to find references online with the pose that I want and I end up wasting all this time and in the end, I never get anything done. And then in turn, it frustrates me and then I feel like a failure and a loser because I never got started on drawing something because I spent so much damn time trying to find all these references. It, it takes time to build a reference library and I've been trying to do it for months and it's, I have not found an efficient way for me, for me, um, that works. So I said, to hell with all that, I'm gonna do something different. I don't care what anyone's opinion is on what an art journey quote unquote looks like or is supposed to look like. I want to create art for myself and improve on my own terms. I used to be the kind of person who thought, oh, I have to learn this very specific way in order to learn art. The thing is that art is subjective. Not one art journey looks the same. Some people take years to master their skills, while others may take a couple of years to master another skill. And there are so many types of art, from realism, to cartoon, to anime manga, to abstract painting, sculpture, video, music, I mean, so on and so forth, fashion. There's so many different types of art out there. And not everyone has a linear learning path. I mean, I think we can all agree, right? 3D models can actually help you if you do it right. A 3D model is there to help guide your perspective and simplify the shapes of the human body. Now, although 3D models are not 100% anatomically correct, they do help in providing the first steps of the process. So in my illustration, I broke the model down into shapes. Then I did a rough sketch above that breakdown. I do have some understanding of perspective as I have been sketching and studying anatomy for a little while now, so that wasn't super difficult. However, my understanding is still flimsy and I have a lot more practice and learning ahead of me, but that's not the point. <laughs> you can use these models to help you get started and not make things so overwhelming for your process. I swear, sometimes I feel like I do have ADHD and I've gone undiagnosed my whole freaking life, but let's move on. Now, how can you get better using 3D models? Well, if you're struggling with anatomy, I suggest tracing some of these models. Then you can break them down into shapes and learn how those shapes look in a 3D space. Drawing a floating body in a 3D space from imagination with no inkling of how those parts work is totally useless. You start making weird blobs and then get all frustrated because you quote unquote can't draw from imagination. Reality check. No one can when they are a beginner. And even professionals use references. It takes a long time for someone to be drawing and to completely have 100% knowledge and skill drawing the human body in every single angle in order to draw from imagination. I'm not saying that it's not possible, but you have to literally be drawing for many, many years and doing it every day, your entire life. I mean, ugh, it's insane. But I digress. So my art journey is a long one. 
but I am very determined to find new ways how to learn. I'm tired of sitting at my desk for hours looking at a bunch of references and pictures and scrolling through Pinterest and Google and not knowing what to do with them because I cannot wrap my head around simple shapes. And I've spent time tracing over real people to try to understand and that seems to help me a lot. But to be honest, I can't always find a reference in the exact same pose that I want. It's always, I always have to compromise and well, this is close to what I want. Uh, and I know people say, well, take a picture of yourself. Unfortunately, I don't like that either because I feel like it just takes too much time and it's really awkward for me. I don't like taking pictures of myself. Sometimes I also can't get the angle that I want. So the easiest thing for me to do is to get a 3D model and pose it however I want. Now, I'm not saying you should not try to learn the basics and that you should not practice anatomy and perspective on your own. You absolutely should because it's gonna help reinforce your learning process. Use the tools to get you started. Do not be afraid to use these 3D models to reference or even trace or break down in shapes to help you understand. That's completely fine. You're not breaking any rules and you're not doing anything wrong. As long as you're not doing anything illegal, taking someone else's art and posting it on your Instagram and saying, that's mine, I did that. Then, okay, see, that's wrong, but we're, that's not what we're doing here. You're still putting in the time, you're still putting in the effort, and you're learning as you go. And you know what? There was somebody in one of my comments, and I can't remember who it was. I want to say it was Hobbish Comics, who had said in one of my videos in the past that for those of you creating comics and for those of you creating or comics manga you know web comics it's a lot of work for one person to do and using these 3d models can absolutely help you storyboard and get your ideas rolling right it's still going to take some work on your part and that's okay don't let people shame you for it and i know as morishita studios i love her work love her work and she uses 3d models and i love that she's so openly talked about it because honestly because of her i have gotten so comfortable with using them use the tools to help you get started and to help you learn and grow because again art is different for everyone it's subjective and the journey it's never going to be the same for one person yeah sure there might be similarities but it will never be exactly the same as someone else's okay so what does your art journey look like does any of what i said resonate with you let me know your thoughts in the comments but remember to be tactful have a good evening good afternoon and good night wherever you are in the world and i will catch you in the next video